Hey, America, hit that like, share, subscribe. I had to get this, this story out there while it's fresh in my mind. I'm driving down the road. I put in, I went to the Salvation Army near my house, found the perfect leather jacket that I'm looking for. It's not really lightweight, just like what I'm wearing, but it's leather. But it's a 46. I said, well, I'm never going to fit a 46. I need like a 52. I hear, motherfucker, that's what you're supposed to be wearing. I said, well, I ain't going to wear it. This is all going on in my head. I'm talking to the ladies while this is going on, joking around. I said, well, I ain't going to fit a 46. That's not going to happen. I'd have to get down to like 210. Not going to happen. So we decided, okay, 48. 48 to 50. If I can find one, 48 to 50, that's what we'll go with. God says, okay. So I left this store, looked around a little more, didn't see anything I liked. Good stuff in the Salvation Army, by the way. Used to be stigma when I was a kid. Don't go to Salvation Army. That's for poor people. You didn't want to be poor people, even if you were poor people. But you know what? I've, I saw this coat in there. I know this coat costs $220 because I have the exact same coat. And this one fit me. I put it on. I said, holy crap, if I didn't already have one. Then I thought about it and I said, holy crap, this might be mine. And I donated it because I only wore it like three times. And that's always to funerals in the middle of winter. And the coat makes me sad. So I might have actually donated it. So I put it back because I'm not sure. But it was $15. That's a $220 coat. Wool coat. Still has the label on the inside. The guy's like me. Cut the one off the sleeve. If you're wearing labels on your sleeve, cut it out. You're pretentious. Okay? We know you paid a lot for the coat. Know how you know we know you paid a lot for the coat? Because you don't got to brag about how much you paid for your coat. Anyway, I'm driving down the highway. I put it in Salvation Army. And it pops up Rhode Island. Why well, go to the Rhode Island ones? Three of them, they're closed. Salvation Army is closed. How could that be, people? If you have stuff in your house that's still nice and reusable, and you can donate it, and the money goes to, like, the Salvation Army, and they're taking care of people here and there, and I don't agree with everyone they take care of. I mean, sometimes I'm like, you let them terrorists burn in hell, but that's me. They, they're going to take care of people who need help. Sometimes I'm like, screw them. I'm not as nice as God. All right? They're working with the power of God. I ain't as nice as him. I'll tell you that right now. But anyway, driving down the highway, this is for all the people on Route 24. I'm listening to Tom McDonald, and God wants to do a little hang loose dance. You know, I'm driving down the highway. Every time I put my hand out the window, and I'm like this, driving down the highway, looking like a crazy person, it stops raining. I take my hand in, and this is a Romeo and Julieta. I gave God the choice. I have a whole bunch of different types of my cheap ones and his good ones. I just reached in blindly and I pulled this out. I said, okay, we're going to smoke one of yours. Ha! <laughs> because that's how we roll. Anyway, every time I took my hand back in the window, it starts raining. I go, well, that's weird. I put my hand back up, started doing this again. It stops raining. I said, well, that's hilarious. I said, let me try this again. I put my arm back in the window. Don't you know it starts sprinkling again? Not a full-blown crazy rain, but sprinkling. I put my hand out again. It stopped raining. I said, well, this is the craziest shit. Nobody's ever going to believe me. So any of the people on Route 24, can you verify there was a fat, crazy guy in a minivan driving, doing a song dance to rap music by Tom McDonald? Yeah, you were driving with God, I hate to tell you. He picked some assholes. Anyway, I'm looking for this place called Savers now. And I drove around this one place that told me Salvation I thought it was Salvation Army. But it's Stop and Shop, Citizens Bank. I drove around the block four times listening to my GPS. Well, the poor GPS is trying to tell me to go across the street because I stopped and asked a lady where the Savers was. And she goes, oh, yeah, I know it's here somewhere. And she pointed, I'm in the wrong parking lot. It's right across the street. So that's pretty damn funny. I would have drove around with this stupid GPS forever with it screaming at me. Will you take the left? Will you take the left? I'm hearing my wife's voice now. What the hell are you doing wasting more time? That's what I do with my day. That's what we all do. God looks through all our eyes. Sometimes just sightsee. Take in what's around you just because. Give him a hang loose. And remember, hang loose ain't always hang loose. Sometimes it's a nice little polite F you. <laughs> Why? Because I think that's funny. He says I'm an a-hole. Eh, we're all in agreement there, huh? <laughs> God bless America. 
Hey, I just realized I'm broke again. I gave away my idea for screwing over corporations. I'm such an asshole. Oh, if I ever slowed down to think enough, wouldn't that be something? Anyway, God bless. Love you, America. I got to find this leather coat or I'm going to have to go back and see if they still have the 46. I sure as hell don't want to have to work my way into a 46. Anyway, I got to do what that lady said. Aim up at the sky. Does that work? Yeah, it does. Don't tell me. You aim up at the sky. It forces you to put your head up, too, and look at the sky. Ah, uh, you're trying to hide your chin. She was a skinny bitch, but she was old. No, she wasn't old. That's a joke. Anyway, don't take it too hard, honey. You're beautiful, even, even for your age. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Can I turn this off like Fluffy would say? Sometimes you're just on all the time. I can't turn it off. I wish I could. Sometimes. Other times, ah, screw you. God's telling you a joke. He says, stop having such thin skin, you sons of bitches. <laughs> God bless America. Follow along. Ten minutes at a time. Oh, hey, I'm getting it down to five minutes, six minutes. <laughs>